welcome to your reading. This is General in Love for July. And I want to get started. I'm going to definitely pull some cards out. But I wanted to say that I felt like the fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius may be of significance. And I'm also getting Aquarius and Virgo. And I'm hearing the word, what was that? Discovery. Uh, now, I, another way it's coming across in July. I feel like you are moving from, I'm getting like from the darkness to light. I got this from for another sign, and I can't remember what sign it was, where, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn. But... Uh, the other thing that I'm getting in terms of discovery is I feel like some of you, I'm going to start shuffling, may be discovering some gifts that you have. And it could be something metaphysical, very spiritual, might even be mediumship. That's what I'm getting. Um, okay. Oh, and there was something else that came up, and I feel like somebody is, I was going to say having, um, wow, a bunch of cards just fell out. So I'm going to start here, but um, I felt like somebody was possibly having something surgically done, and it's, um, I feel like the neck, like, I'm getting the word halo. Now, I don't know if it's because of the song halo or if it's an actual halo that they use when they do. I feel like it's a, a, a disc, like C4, C5, C6, C7, something like that. This is not a surprise, though. I feel like, you know, it's planned surgery. All right. So the cards that fell out were these, which let me just angle this down a little bit. These are the cards that fell out. So I'm just going to kind of do it the way um, I've got the death card. I've got the six of pentacles and the three of swords here. The three of swords, I think, has come up twice or for some other signs. And I'm going to go ahead and put, oh, wow, we have another three. There was another uh, reading, I think, that possibly had two threes in it also. See, I get rebuilding. There's something that there's a, a growth period that quite a few of you are going through. Um, rebuilding this. Oh, I know what I was also picking up. I felt like there was something about either attending a reunion or attending a graduation, but I'm also getting, I got a three-year program, so I feel like somebody possibly is going to, I don't know if this is like a master's program, this might be law school, because now I'm seeing this, see, and I'm seeing somebody graduating here. I'm seeing this as, you know, like the robes that they wear. Um, it might also be that somebody is getting into a Ph.D. program is another thing that I'm getting. Look at that. We've got the Ace of Wands underneath. So the death card is here. Uh, usually for me, it doesn't indicate death. Um, it indicates a very transitional period. The sign of Scorpio may also be of significance and but the death card usually represents endings and beginnings. That there's a lot of change. Remember how I said it's always darkest before the dawn? And if you look at the card here, there you know this is a, kind of a heavy looking card and you can see the little sun rising right there. So I do feel like also with, um, it's almost like this card, because it's in my challenge position, uh, there may be, I um, see I'm getting something back to school again. I feel like somebody is having possibly difficulties 
with money or there may be something about if this is related to anything about anyone's passing i feel like it could be something legal and maybe that's why i got discovery why i got that word is i feel like something is going to come out of this it may not be exactly what you expected so it might have been something that happened a year or two years ago and there's some kind of loss that took place or somebody's not able to move. Remember how I was talking about the, the neck surgery? I'm getting something with a disc. Now, it may not be the neck per se, but I feel like somebody is not quite as mobile as they used to be. And so they're waiting to hear information about some settlement. And maybe you don't get quite what you were expecting, but you get some of it. Or maybe you do get what you're expecting, but the attorney takes half of it. Because there's, you know, sometimes on injury cases, the attorneys don't take anything. At least that's what they say in the commercials. Um, but some of them don't take anything until there's payment. And then, because we, we go from a six to a three. So I almost feel like something's possibly cut in half, if that makes sense. But look, I'm not an attorney or anything like that. Just want to make sure, put that out there. These are just messages that are coming through. Um, I do feel like there's uh, definitely, you know, a potential for something beautiful to grow. And this could be also a love situation with the number three. This could be um, a decision that needs to be made regarding, oh, look, we've got three people here. We've got three people here. It may be a group effort. This could be even a project that someone's working on, um, but it could be in love where there's a decision to make and you've got a choice to make when it comes to um, love dynamics in July. Because uh, I'm hearing out with the old and with the new, so there may be this death may be an ending to a relationship and there's some heartbreak but something, something comes up, you know, um, positive out of this. That's what I feel. Um, it could be, uh, well, I said fire sign at the beginning. I'm pretty sure I did. So it could be definitely a fire sign. Now, this is also, you know, the wands to me represent... Uh, creativity, inspiration, passion. So this could be something that you are working on. Maybe something was dead in the water. For example, you had an idea. Maybe you shared it with your boss or you're, you're creating something and it's like it, it just didn't go anywhere. And, you know, there's been some sorrow in that. But I feel like you go back to the drawing board and something else gets created or a new idea uh, develops. And maybe it's, you know, the people that were surrounding your, your environment or around you that were holding you back somehow and you get like, new people, you know, it's kind of a changing of the guard or you're with a new group of people and things are going to start improving in a more positive direction. But again, getting back to love, it could be that something has ended and there's an opportunity for something new to develop or grow. Uh, I feel like that you could meet this person at work, and I also feel like it's possibly school for some of you. So it might be summer school or, or a program that you're taking. Um, 
I, I feel like out of something that may be with these cards here, whether it's something legal, I'm also getting something in terms of like a 12-step a program. So I feel like out of something heavy comes something positive. So focus on the, the, the sun, the light that is coming in here on this card. That's what I'm being led to say, okay? So these are just some messages that are coming up for you, Gemini, in July. I get rebuilding, rebuilding, and, you know, one step at a time, one brick at a time, layer by layer, you know, something is getting discovered or uncovered, and I feel like the, the truth of something will be revealed or seen. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. Take care. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.